Hey guys, it's Monday and I'm at the studio and as soon as I try and film, everyone decided to make loads of noise. So I'm kind of going to do this quite quite quickly. So today I kind of feel like having a proper, you know, a proper session of getting stuff done. I'm quite behind with my plans and some of these things have been dragging on for quite a while I just want them finished so that is my taffeta skirt to go with my truly Victorian taffeta bodice over there that needs buttonholes and buttons sewn on it that's literally the last thing to do for that this one needs hemming it needs its waistband put on and loads of other things and then if we go over here and then this is my latest corset it's based on the pattern I used for the dragonfly corset it's been cut down slightly at the top and so I need to get that finished so those are my plans for today and I'm hoping that means that I can take these two off this dress form because that's my favourite petticoat and I really want it home but it's kind of been living here for now so yeah let's see how we get along so yesterday I got the uh, buttonholes done on this truly Victorian um, bodice I do have some buttons uh, but because they need 12 the only this is where I try and find something in the massive pile of mess on my table um, are these beigey white ones but they're not quite dark enough to go with this so I might have to go and find some um, more buttons that are slightly dark and will go better with this those were the only buttons that were the right size and that I had enough of in my stash. I then also, if I squidge this up, got, I don't know if you can see it there, the waistband pieces attached. I have to hand finish them but I can take that home and do that Thursday. Um, and then once that's done I can try it on and make sure that it is long enough. I have the feeling that the underskirt might be a couple of inches too short. So, because obviously it's not hemmed yet. Um, so I might need to add a border or something. And then I'm going to go to one of the trim shops in Bristol and see if I can find some nice trim because I kind of want to tie the skirt to the bodice but then I like things quite plain, so I'm not sure. I'm going to go and have a look anyway, see what I can find. And then the other thing I did, I didn't quite get it finished, but I was working on this corset. And um, for the front panels, I'm using spiral steel for the bust area, but I always forget that you need to make the channel slightly bigger for the end caps and of course I did it my usual around one centimeter for the synthetic whalebone and then I couldn't get the spiral steel in so I had to unpick this bit unpick the channels and yeah that's <clears throat> why I was here till nine o'clock last night I've only done one side so I've got to do the other side and then that should be finished and then I'll obviously do the binding this is the first corset that I've ever machine sewn the binding on and it's really quick and simple um, so yeah so today I have to film a fabric haul for all of this that I got as a birthday kind of outing then I'm gonna finish the corset and then I'm just gonna kind of relax with doing some underwear I have 
this box I think it is nope not that box I have too many black boxes <clears throat> uh, it might be this one under here I will eventually also do a studio tour but not yet there we go so these are my cut out underwear pieces and spare jerseys um, so <clears throat> Sorry, I'm feeling a bit flimmy today. So yeah, so I'm gonna do some underwear and then I've also bought some jerseys in the birthday fabric haul. So I might cut out some underwear for James because this is all underwear for me at the moment. So I might cut out some more underwear for James. He really likes the style of the, I think it's the Bruce boxes, the boxes from freesewing.org. So I'm gonna make him some and some more underwear but I need to get some more elastic for the top so yeah that's my plans for today hey chickadees it is Friday and I am at the studio I was here Wednesday but I didn't manage to film anything because it was still quite loud there was you know machines going off and everything like that so I didn't get to film on Wednesday and then Thursday I was at home and I was just doing hand sewing and having a bit of a rest and a slob and you know all that jazz but I got my underwear finished on the Wednesday and by the time this video goes up it will be on Instagram so I'll link the post down below but I also managed to get some more underwear cut out from the fabric that I bought in Cheltenham. So these are all cut out ready to go. There are four pairs of boxers for James and then another pair of Maxine undies for me. So that is um, ready to go whenever I get around to it. But the plan for today is if we go over here. Um, to measure the width of this fabric and this fabric to make walking skirts out of them with pleats at the bottom so I need to know the width so I can do a pattern or at least just get some measurements down for it and then I also want to get um, just a basic five panel walking skirt cut out of this um, corduroy that I got from uh, an Instagram D-Stash account and yeah that was about my plan for today I don't know how long I'm going to be here but I'm going to be here tomorrow and then ne next Saturday as well is going to be kind of walking skirt kind of days so I'm going to get on with that morning chickadees it is tuesday um i did come in yesterday but i didn't really film very much because i had an awful day at the muggle job uh i just didn't feel like talking and also it was absolutely hammering it down with rain and our roofs are kind of made of the plastic stuff so it always, always sounds totally horrific even when it's not that rainy you might be able to hear it today because it's still raining um which is a bit naff because you know it's grey and it just makes you feel a bit meh but today I am working on this I got most of it finished yesterday it is just a little kind of peplum blouse top just a self drafted pattern using the <coughs> excuse me using a similar pattern from the corset covers that I made I've added a little collar the only thing I'm worried about is the corset covers turned out to come up a tiny bit short on the waist they kind of uh, the um, tie comes to just at the bottom of my rib cage rather than my natural waist but I'm going to make the seam allowance on this bit a tiny bit smaller because I've left an inch so I could take it down to half an inch and it would still work so we'll see how that works out just to give me a bit more um, and then I've got these cute little sleeves from a sleeve pattern I've had for ages 
So I need to gather the top and then put them in the armholes. Then once I've done that, I need to cut out a front panel for um, a blouse. There is a picture on my Instagram of it. It's a Dobby Spot blouse and it's got a gathered front. But I based the original pattern off a pattern... I can't remember what the company was. I think it might have been Zara. If I can find it, I will link it in the down bar below. But it had this lovely gathered front and it was all froofy and Edwardian looking. So I based it off that. And the actual garment had two layers on the front and I thought that was for modesty and for just a bit of a thicker layer because it was made of a sheer dobby spot. So I thought I'll be wearing, you know, a chemise and a corset cover and a corset and everything like that. Like that. I don't need the second layer for modesty. However, what I'm finding is actually the second layer hasn't got these gathers in the front and is just one single panel um, for sturdiness, basically, and to stop the armholes from shifting that way when you wear it because of all this material in the front. I didn't realise that when I made it, so all I'm going to do is cut out a front, pa uh, front piece without these gathers um, out of the cotton lawn here and then take that home and sew it and that should fix the problem because it's a really gorgeous shirt um, I just don't like wearing it at the moment because um, of the shifting issues and it ends up looking a bit weird you know you start tucking it in all nice and then it just by the by an hour later it's all out of place again it's just annoying so I don't wear it and I want to wear it more after that I need to make a coif, I've just remembered however I didn't bring the pattern with me. That's not useful, okay that might be have to, that might have to be something I do tonight at home. That's a bit annoying, we've got a sewing machine at home so I can do it but I had other things that I was planning on doing this evening. Oh well, and then once I've got all that done I'm then going to be working on my walking skirt, so I've got to put all the markings on the um, tiered ones here uh, and then putting it all together. So that is my plans, or those are my plans rather, and <coughs> yeah, I will keep you guys updated for what's, what, how I'm getting on. Hey chickadees, it's Thursday. Um, I haven't filmed a lot over the last few days, or I haven't filmed anything over the last few days. I've been in the studio, I was in here Tuesday, and a teeny bit yesterday, but uh, conditions just weren't right for me to do any filming or anything like that. So, I said on Monday that I was working on a little top, if I go this way, and that's... It there as I thought the front does come up a bit too high um, just fall over it's not as bad but if I like straighten this out then yeah it, it's a tiny bit too high but I'll you know try and wear it and see how it goes it's really cute um, I just need to fold and hand finish the cuffs on the sleeve and then I need to pop either a button and a loop or I might actually just do a um, hook and eye at the neck there and then the only other thing I've been working on is my walking skirt so all the panels are cut out and I am marking uh, I haven't marked this one yet I don't think so I'm marking five and then four inches and then five inches and then four inches for where to fold them there we go you can see a mark there and then I am 
just pinning the pleats together roughly and then I'm just going to double check by measuring from this edge here that it is uh, two and a half inches. I did start sewing and then realised I have to put the uh, um, bits together first. I can't think of the word for now. Um, yeah, so I have to put them together. I have to sew them together at the sides first before I sew these. So I've unpicked most of that. So that is basically what I'm going to be doing today. Just carrying on putting the marks on the segments and then sewing everything together. <laughs>